Hi, I'm Peter from Copy Parts. I'm here with David Worth to look at the Malconic E80 grind by weight. David, thank you for coming on. My pleasure, Pedro. Do you want to give us a 30 second intro on your journey in coffee? Uh, yeah, well, my journey in coffee started in uh, October of 2012 when I came to work for Greg at uh, AMC Roastery Supply. Um, AMC being a family company that's been in business for about 60 plus years. Uh, Greg and I have known each other for many, many years. We uh, uh, we played rugby together as young guys, you know, I was in the army, he was a young buck coming up and um, from that time we became friends and uh, back in the, uh, the, the early 80s. I've uh, been around for a long time and for years Greg would say to me, mate, you need to come and work for me and I said, mate, you know. Then the stars aligned and um, I came to work for him in 2012 and uh, it's been an excellent journey ever since, you know. So this one here is the latest in the range, the E80 was already out. They had the E65 grind by weight, and now they've put the grind by weight into the E80, which is the big boy in the range, so to speak. Do you want to tell me more about this E80 and what makes this grinder unique and who's it for? Um, so you're right. Uh, they uh, they started off with the what they called the next generation grinders. So the uh, the E65S was their first one, mm -hmm. and then they integrated a uh, grind by weight system yeah. into that, uh, and it's a very advanced grind by weight system that they use. Uh, it's all algorithmic and uh, and it's a learning algorithm yep. within these uh, within these systems. Um, so about six times every second, it's reading the value that it needs to have into the porter filter with what's actually in there, and it keeps rewriting itself. So it, it gets more and more tight the the more you use it. Um, so they had that, and then they came out with uh, the E80 Supreme, which was a much bigger grinder, bigger motor assembly, um, RPM up to about 1600 RPM, yep. uh, so it's very fast, um, but also uh, very accurate and um, and consistent. That's uh, been what people have been loving about the E80 is effectively a lot of people are grinding around 20 grams, and for 20 grams you're doing it in three and a half seconds, which is fast for a is. grinder. Very fast. So for example, a 65 grind by weight or a 65, you'd be looking at about uh, maybe five to six seconds for your 20, 21 grams. This will do it in about three seconds. Yep. So um, that's dependent on you know particle yeah. size, your, your grind size, yep. and, uh, and and the roast profile you have. But by and large, three to three yeah. five, three point five seconds for 20, 21 grams, it's really fast. So we know it's a fast grinder, super consistent, super fluffy. Should we see it in action and then dive into the specs and what makes this grinder different? Certainly. Let's do that. Uh, just just to quickly um, go over a couple of things, we have the ability to set up to six different uh, weight recipes here. Yep. Um, we also have the, the ability to change into a time mode if we need to. But uh, one of the best features of this is the uh, the port filter recognition. So we can actually take six different handles, we pre-weigh them and pre-set them, and uh, they can be set for different weights or whatever, or uh, just for pretty much the same weight which most people in the specialty market use. And even if the porter filters are the calibrated porter filters, the exact same weight, generally you're gonna be using different size baskets yes. when you're using that, so the weight will be different. Yes, and we have a little bit of variance in there that yeah. we can set into it so that we know that we're getting, you know, we're, we're, that handle goes in and we'll get 20, 21, 20 yeah. grams as we require. In this case, we're gonna run 20 in, 40 out. Yes. So um, we also have just another thing here. You'll see that when it uh, comes in, it's nice and fluffy and distributed perfectly into the center of the uh, the basket. Uh, and that's basically because we can adjust the position of the spout here to bring it to forward, bring it back, or put it dead in the center. Yeah. So it's and obviously good. the porter filter support is super easy adjustable. And that support goes down directly to the load cell, so it's actually not connected to the grinder. Exactly. So it's really running independent from the grinder. Sure, and it is a full hands-free system. Yep. So with that, let's go. All right, so we simply place it in, tears itself, and distributes the coffee. So as you can see, it's very, very fluffy. Uh, and again, if we're coming too far forward, we can always just adjust the spout as we require. Move it back slightly. So, yeah, exactly. So I'll move that over to Perfect. you. Um, we can distribute on here the tines. Yeah. Okay. No need to uh, to overload the uh, the load cell. Move it off and tamp off to the side. Perfect way to use the system. So it is, right? It certainly is. So we've done 20 in. I'm gonna aiming for 40 out with yep. this recipe. Here we go. There you go. So Thank you. Cheers.
Cheers. Cheers. It's quite bright. I like it. Mm. Yeah, a lot of clarity there, which um, is something inherent with our 80 mil. The bigger blades. Discs, the bigger blades. The disc geometry on them is uh, very reminiscent of the geometry of the uh, EK43s when they first came out. Uh, it's also the same as they use on the, uh, the Ditting uh, Lab Suites. So uh, very good, clean, uh, consistent grinding, but a lot of clarity, um, very little fines to it. So you can actually push more water through your, uh, your, your coffee bed and extract more out of it without, uh, without over extraction. So it's very, very good. It is nice. Mm. Um, from a workflow perspective, I like how quick it is because in cafes, really, especially in the morning rush, speed is everything. Certainly and is. to be able to have speed with the consistency of grind by weight and this clarity really is a nice combo. It certainly is. Um, and that's where the, uh, the, the 80 series, the 80 and particularly the 80 grind by weight comes into their own. Yep. For those large specialty coffee accounts that are, uh, the, that are looking for those consistency clarity of their, uh, of their, of their coffee product into the, uh, the customer's cups, but also um, uh, workflow. Uh, the beauty of this is that we can step away from the idea of weighing a porter filter, a handle, and then into the grinder, bringing it out and seeing what our weight is. We take that all out. Um, and the 80 series grinders are, are very, very good when it comes to temperature stability. And you can actually read your temperature just on the bottom of the screen here, but you guys in testing have pushed this to the absolute limit and never broken around the 40 degree mark, wasn't 40, it? 45 to 46 degrees was as good as we could get. And something we've done for years with the Malconic products and, and, and all of our grinding products is we like to put them through a testing process before we put them out in the market so we know how they perform. Not only that, but when it comes to workflow, the distance detection on the burrs of this really is next level. Do you want to explain that one a bit better? Certainly. So uh, with each of the recipes, yep. we can actually go in and set a particular dis distance setting for each of those recipes so that from a workflow perspective, the baristas can come in, they can, uh, rather than have to try and redial their, their coffee grind in in the morning or whatever, you've actually got that set for the recipe. So you can simply move the scale here. Yep. So the gray value is where we're at. Yep. And the orange yep. value is where we want to be. For that recipe. Yes, and as you'll see, there is an arrow pointing in the direction we need to go. Yep. Right, so this has been set to 0 0.0454. Yep. For this for this grind, and we're sitting at the moment at, at, at six yep. zero. So from there, it's showing us the arrow to move finer to yep. get back to that value. And if we move that back, you can see that change. We just get the grey on there, back on the sweet spot. Yeah. So the beauty of that is that um, uh, with all of our grinders, say for example, you've got a very heavy period, and there is a little bit of heating, and you know that you're going to have to change your grind setting at some stage. You can actually set a recipe yep. that meets that. And once you've got that, that value set at the end of the day, you go, great, we put that in as the second recipe for that 20 gram shot or 21 gram shot. Period, and then bring it back down for the morning. Bring it back down for the morning. You've also got a little lock on the back here if you did want to lock it. So if you, if you wanted to make it so someone can't adjust it, for example, you want to lock it for that period, you just got the turn lock. Certainly, um, because it's a, a full stepless grind yeah. adjustment here. Um, you know, from, from zero microns through to, you know, a, a thousand microns. Um, you can you can lock that off at any time. It's also good if you've got it on the bench yep. and, you know, you've got uh, customers moving through and all that sort of stuff, yep. you know, and someone inadvertently sort of mucks around with something, make sure it's locked. Lock, yeah. Very simple to do. Once you've done that, it's very hard to readjust. And when it comes to the hopper, something completely tiny, but quite cool. You do have the clip if you want to have the menu there. So in case you want to show what coffee and what the specs are of the coffee to the customer or the recipe, you can be showing that very easily. Um, the top of the uh, the hopper is perfect for sitting a bag of coffee yep. if you wanted to use that from a, a retail display space. Yep. Uh, and then you put your uh, your, your coffee notes, yep. clip it into here. Everyone knows what they're getting from there. So it's a it's quite a you know it's a simple thing. But again, so simple things that, uh, that that make it quite a unique grinder. One cool thing about this grinder is the Wi-Fi connectivity. You can get a lot of the data directly from the screen, but connecting in with your computer gives it a whole new meaning to data. So do you want to talk me through that sure. a little bit? Well, the, 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 the Wi-Fi connectivity here um, allows you to actually go in and use your web browser to go in and see all of the metrics of your grinder. So as a cafe owner, you can see how many shots have been done, a particular size, 
gives you an indication of how much coffee has been put through, so from a profitability point of view. Yep. Ordering, staffing, you know when your peak periods are. Exactly. Um, but it's also like a service log on your car. Yep. If you really want to look at it that way, you can go in and check all of the service, service logs and um, any errors that might come up, but you can see when calibrations were done, service required, things of that nature. So yep. it just gives you peace of mind when it comes to your grinder. And the beauty of it is you can be separate from the grinder. The grinder can be working. Yeah. Um, and can still be, you know, uh, making you making you money as you're sitting off the side and you're looking at the metrics. So yeah. it's a really powerful tool. And it's available on the E65 grind by weight, the E80 Supreme and the E80 grind oh. by weight, basically with these 3.5 inch LCD screens with the, the programming in that. So yeah. very powerful. Perfect. Dave, thank you for coming in and looking into the E80 grind by weight with me. Obviously, we're super familiar with the E65 grind by weight. There's so many of them out there, and I believe that's gonna be a staple in the years to come. Certainly. In part two of this video, we're gonna look at the differences between the E80 grind by weight and the smaller E65 grind by weight. So stay tuned for part two. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you, and see you on the next video.